Hey what's up guys, Pro here, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. So today I'm back on Clash Royale, we are going to be taking a look at this deck right here today. It's actually got one of my favourite cards inside of the deck, the Prince. I do like to use the Prince, I barely ever do use them. But yeah, we're going to be looking at this deck today. Mega Knight Miner, Prince, Inferno Dragon, Fats, Goblin Gang, Fireball and the Zap. So I've played one game with it already and managed to pick up a win. And we're going to jump in some more and we'll see how we do. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you do go ahead and subscribe. And if you happen to want to enjoy this video as well, feel free to drop a like rating and a comment, both of which are greatly appreciated. Let's jump into game number one. All right, guys, here we go. Game number one right now. Let's see if we can pick up a win. Hopefully I'm able to. It would be a great start to the video. So what we'll do is we'll go minor right away. We do actually see the furnace. So the furnace did actually get changed. I've yet to actually face it, so this is the very first time I'm facing the Furnace since the changes. We do, of course, see the Valkyrie, and this one should be pretty interesting. So hopefully he doesn't zap spell, that would be pretty bad if he does, because if he did, we pretty much would have lost the tower already. So what we'll do is we'll try and get a Miner in right now, hopefully some of the bats can survive, just one at least, thank you very much. So one bat managed to survive, we do also have the Inferno Dragon, and he does now have to defend it. So fortunately for him, he did have the Tornado right there. I guess it helped him a lot, actually. It did in fact save his tower, so yeah, the Tornado for him was a very good play. And now we are facing the Furnace. So the Furnace is pretty annoying. It definitely does a lot of damage. And now we do need to try and prevent it as much as we can. So I just decided to... Go with the Mega Knight, probably a, a questionable play. We do actually see the Royal Giant, and again, another questionable play. So, I'm not really sure why we saw the Royal Giant right there. It's probably not a play I would have made myself, but, I mean, I guess he prevented Mega Knight damage, so it was probably okay. So, what we'll go ahead and do now is hopefully we can eliminate this Tombstone. Hopefully, the Spear Goblin can help us out a little bit as well. I would have fireballed the Princess. Actually, we're just going to do it because we may as well just... Basically take the tower damage whilst we can, and then we'll just go in with a miner, and the furnace is just destroying me. Literally, the furnace is destroying me. So, the furnaces, in fact, he had two at one point, so... Yeah, this one's not looking good in terms of the left-hand side, but on the right, look at the damage we are getting, and that definitely helps us out a little bit right there, so... What we'll do is we will go ahead and go with the prince at the back. Hopefully he goes Royal Giant at the bridge, which he actually did do. We'll go ahead and go Mega Knight right here. And that should pretty much eliminate the Royal Giant as quickly as possible. So what we'll do next is we'll go Miner right here. We'll go Bats in the middle. We do need to defend the Fire Spirits. So that's hopefully what I'm going to do right here. He does actually go with another Furnace, but he gave us great Fireball value. So we'll go ahead and take that. And that was pretty decent. So the Mega Knight is going to jump to the Arena Tower. Mega Knight takes out the tower right there. And now we'll go Prince over here for the Fire Spirits just to try and block them. We do actually see the Goblin Drill. And hopefully the Prince turns around. Looks like he actually didn't. Terrible Mega Knight by me. <laughs> I completely missed. But it still worked out fine because we didn't take any damage. So Miner for the Princess. We got pretty good like deployment right there. We'll go ahead and Zap Spell. And that, my friends, is going to be the game. All right, guys, here we go. Game number two right now. Let's see if we can pick up another win. Hopefully, I'm able to do so. And we can try and keep this winning streak like, going. So what we'll do is we'll go minor right away. Same placement as last time, I believe. We do actually see the Inferno Dragon and the Prince. So two cards are the same. We could actually be facing the, the same deck. So who knows? We'll go over here. Very risky play, actually, with the Inferno Dragon right there. I probably should not have done that. But it looks like we will be okay anyway because the inferno dragon is yeah so it looks like we've got the same deck right here i'm just going to go inferno dragon at the bridge he more than likely will have the zap spell and if he does that's kind of bad so <laughs> not really great it is a mirror matchup hopefully we can burn the mega knight down sadly we couldn't actually eliminate the mega knight in time and we did actually take some damage. So it's not the same deck unless he did replace like the uh, Goblin Gang with Archers maybe. So again, I'm not entirely too sure. It does look like that's potentially what he did do. And let's see if we can still win. So mine is going in again right now. We probably will see the Prince. Yeah, so he goes with the Prince. Prince is of course a great counter to Miner. Of course, I won't really get any tower damage at all. We'll go with a very high Goblin Gang just to make sure 
Our prince charges the enemy prince, and then we're going to hover the Inferno Dragon, because... Okay. Okay. So I probably should have gone with it anyway, actually, because it would have worked quite well. I'm just going to go ahead and zap spell right here, and that should be okay. He did actually zap as well. We're going to go with a Prediction Miner over here for the archers, and I played it really badly. <laughs> okay, that was trash. So I should have played the Miner a bit better. I should have at least deployed it on this side. And if I did, we may have eliminated his archers. So yeah, I kind of ruined that one. Very bad play. And we paid the price. I could have probably took his tower out or at least done major damage to it. So we'll go Prince at the back. We do see the Tesla. Nothing new there, ladies and gentlemen. And now what we'll go ahead and do is we will actually go with a Fireball if I can hit all three. Sadly, I can't. I'm tempted just to go over here anyway. Yeah, so let's have a look. So we'll go Mega Knight over here. That should be an okay play. We're going to go with a very high set of bats. We just need to get the great value. With my lightning spell, oh, sorry, he lightning spell. So with my, like, zap spell, he with his zap spell, sorry, he couldn't actually eliminate the bats and the Inferno Dragon in the same play. And I was actually able to, so yeah. My Inferno Dragon was a bit better in my opinion, but hey, his still did the job, and he did have the lightning spell. So what we'll do is we will go ahead and I was tempted to zap, but then I remembered I do actually need the zap spell for the like for his Inferno Dragon. So bats are going to get eliminated. We do manage to take the Tesla down right there. Mega Knight is on getting actually burned down by the Inferno Dragon. He did actually zap spell. I'm leaking elixir right now, and we do need to still win. So he's going to be crying again, maybe because he knows, I don't really know actually, but we'll just go ahead and zap right here. He will probably, okay, right, this is getting quite bad, <laughs> okay, maybe not. So we managed to take out his Inferno Dragon, which is exactly what I needed to happen right there, and now what we'll do is we'll just go in with a Miner, and now we do actually see the Mega Knight, so not really what I expected, it's not looking good for me actually because we can quite easily like lose right here. I'm just going to go ahead and fireball literally everything right there. And that was a pretty, a pretty decent play in my opinion. So that worked out well. We will just, he did actually zap spell right there. So we'll just go with a goblin gang in the center. We are winning right now, which is good. And we just need to hold on to this lead. So it's getting quite tense. <laughs> well, it's not, but you know what I mean? So we'll go over here. We will also go over here as well. But literally just trying to cycle miners at this stage. He's going to be spamming lightning spells. He will probably win if he can just keep spamming lightning spells. Because that's all he really needs to do at this stage. He does actually get archers to lock onto the tower as well. Which isn't fantastic for me. And we did take lots of damage right there. So we'll just go all in right now. We will try and go all in. We'll fireball right here. Just to eliminate his inferno dragon a little bit quicker. Miner did lock onto the tower. I misplaced my zap spell. But it still worked out okay, I guess, because we did at least hit the Mega Knight. And now all we need to do is try and get one more Miner out. We'll go Miner right here. We will go with a Fireball as well, because all we need is Tower Damage. If he Lightning Spelled, he would have won the game. And there we go. So the Miner, the Fireball, definitely did help me out a lot at the end, because we managed to actually get the win from it. If I didn't go Miner at the end, if I didn't go Fireball at the end, he would have lost the game. All right, guys, here we go. Game number three. So same deployment as last time. Actually, we're going to change it up a bit. We're going to go over here and right here. Boom and boom. Eliminate the witch, please. Perfect. So the witch should get eliminated right there. And we actually got one minor shot as well. So I will take the damage. We may as well eliminate the witch if we can do. And yeah, this one's looking alright. So we do see the giant. We will go with the inferno dragon. I do have a, like a feeling this guy is going to have minion horde. Maybe not. Okay. So we did zap. And now we'll just go over here. We'll probably have Skeleton Army or something. I've got a feeling he's going to have, like, at least one of those cards. So hopefully the Mega Knight gets, like, targeted by the Arena Tower, which it did. And now we need to take the Witch out. So the Witch should go down. No problem at all. Inferno Dragon locked onto the Arena Tower. Mega Knight's on the tower as well. He will probably Zap Spell when it's too late. Nope, never mind. So, yeah, this one's looking all right. So we managed to take out the tower. We did, of course, eliminate his push. He did get some tower damage because that's what the, the giant really does. And the giant's a good card. Well, it's good at getting tower damage anyway. So that's its whole purpose. So 
I don't even know I'm on about. Anyway, we do need to defend the furnace this time because, as you saw in the first game, the furnace can do a lot of damage. And we do need to prevent that, and that's what the prince is for. So we do actually see the giant for the prince. Interesting play. Not really something I would have done myself because we've pretty much just eliminated his giant before it even like, gets to our side of the map. So, again, a bit strange, but hey, it, I guess it saved him, so I don't really know. We'll go over here. We will go right here as well. We do actually see the witch and the Valkyrie, so... Valkyrie Witch, again, same cards every game, and now, except for the last one, but whatever. We will, we do actually need to defend, because he, all he has to do is really just go Giant Rage Witch, and he will pretty much eliminate my tower. So we'll go over here, just to try and prevent that from happening. And now we do need the Inferno Dragon, he is going to Rage, hopefully we can take out everything. Please take out the Giant, please take out the Giant, thank you very much. So the giant did go down right there, eventually. We'll just go all in right here. And now this one is looking okay. We do have the bats for the Valkyrie right here. And then we just will allow the miner to do his thing on the right hand side. We will just go Prince at the back on the left. And then when he goes giant at the bridge, we will Mega Knight the witch right here. And that will just mean the giant is basically going down the lane by himself. So I think he will take the tower. I do need to zap in my opinion. He did zap as well. And we managed to actually save our tower probably from the zap spell. And that should allow us to win the game 1-0. So, perfect. So we ended up winning all three games today. Pretty decent result in terms of the, the game. So I'll definitely take that. And there we go. So thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Like, comment, and subscribe. There's the deck. Feel free to give it a try. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.